Right guys, welcome back to the video. So as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be unboxing the HyperX Cloud Alpha gaming headset. So uh, we've got it here. I haven't uh, taken it out of the box yet. So uh, if we have a look at the box, it says, if I can uh, get that in, it says PC, PS4, Xbox One, Mac, Mobile, Nintendo Switch and VR. And then it says Cloud Alpha. This is the front of the box and it has um, just the HyperX in the bottom there. The picture of the headset. Uh, that's only for uh, where they sell it. It says like, uh, don't uh, sell it, don't open it without selling it. And on the back, it also has some uh, like showing you what it is. It has um, detachable nose ca uh, noise cancelling head uh, microphone. Sorry, uh, signature HyperX memory foam on the ear cups, uh, durable aluminium frame, and detachable cable with inline audio control. You obviously can't read that from there, but there's no point in showing you that uh, because that's all there is. I've read them. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get trusty old scissors in. Uh, I'm going to tilt this down. You won't be able to see my face a lot. You can see my lips and my microphone, but a uh, better view of this. Uh, so, if we grab some scissors and go in from probably. Uh, wait, how? Actually, I think I might not need. Is it just a pull? I think it might just be. Uh, maybe not. Feels like that's just pulled off. No, I don't think so. Right, I gotta cut this. Um, dodgy, dodgy stuff, but. I'm gonna end up cutting myself. Do I? I don't even know if you have to. It's a bit dodgy. No, I'm sure I can do that. Alright, there we go, there we go. Right, pulling this off. It was just to sleeve this, I knew it was. Right, got that off. Put that to the side. We've got the big box here. Obviously, the headset's in it. We open this up. I'm gonna try to do it one handed, sort of. No, I'm not too hard. Do it there. Take that off, and then we'll put that to the side there because we don't need that. Then, first thing in the box, we've got a um, don't really know. It's like a uh, Xbox uh, HyperX has uh, discovered, uh, has you covered. Sorry, can't see, can't speak. Um, congratulations on joining the HyperX family don't need that really and then this is probably what you're going to want to keep is uh, the instructions manual so uh, I'm not going to look at that now the quick start guide but there it is there is the headset a bit of a glare sorry about that uh, if I put it closer you can see that HyperX so I'll take it out of the box it won't have that glare on it take that off and then should be able to see that better there we go a little bit of a glare on the back there but on the on your I don't know what side if it flips it but this side it has the detachable microphone with the uh, like filter there so that's pretty nice for that back in there and then the main this actually smells smells like new a bit weird but it actually does and then we have the main headset itself there they are oh very nice really light that's what I first thought when I picked them up just then. It's my first time picking them up, obviously. Uh, that that foam up there on the headrest is very, very nice. It's actually uh, nice and, uh, like, you know that's just not going to hurt you, like, uh, for a long period of time. Then we've got the aluminium, uh, aluminium, aluminium, uh, what does it say? Durable aluminium frame, so, or aluminium if you're in America. And uh, it says... If you can, I might be able to show this. Yeah, you can see just there, left, and then if I flip it, get that cable out of the way, right, see that just about, and obviously on the sides, we've got to take them off. This is going to be the nicest thing ever. If you could hear that, that was so nice. Oh, I've just realised I've probably knocked the mic about 16 million times, but have to deal with it now and uh, we'll try and get this one off as well 
bit of an awkward place where they put the tab, but oh, it's nice. And then that's it, really. That's all of the headset unboxed. Um, we've also got here, so I've got something in my eye, uh, the adjustable, like, um, say you have a bigger head or a smaller head, you need to, uh, when your friend's like over, you want to swap it all the time. It's uh, nice. It's got um, little, if you see the dots there, each one of them is like a little increment where it can go into, so you can just adjust it literally very slightly. And uh, I'm going to put it on for the first time. Set that on. Wow, uh, if I move that out, it's going to look really cringy, but got that on. It's feeling proper nice. It goes right over your ears. If I look there, it's right over them. So, straight over. Very comfy. This isn't pressing down too hard. The actual, like, head vest is, it just feels proper light. And then the sides aren't, like, hugging in too much. But they are, they're on, they feel like you're on your head, so it's not, like, uh, overwhelming and you can tell it's just not going to be um, like too tight and you're going to feel fine after a couple hours of gaming on them because obviously that's what I'm going to be using them for mainly gaming and uh, like listening to music if I want to on my phone or something on my computer or watching a movie or something like that but that is them and they might be thinking are they wireless no they're not I've actually got to go well actually we haven't put the they're not wireless, but I'll grab the first one. I'll grab the mic, so the mic actually fits in down here on the left side. There is two um, like uh, plug plug-in places. This one is for the wire that leads into your controller, your PC, your phone, whatever. Three point five millimeter, and then this one here is for the mic. So, like I said, it comes off, and obviously it comes off because I'm holding it. But literally, push it in simple click at the end and then once that's on that can move in any direction bend it up there if you if you want it to be like out the way or there if you're speaking stuff like that so yeah pretty nice and uh, I'm going to take that off now because we don't need it on there for now so literally just in and out and it's absolutely fine take that it's actually got um, I'm not sure I genuinely don't know what this is silica gel uh, it's shaky uh, shaky is the best word it's got like it says do not eat uh, or throw away desic desiccant I don't know what that means could just be me being absolutely uh, dumb but I actually don't know what that means I'm going to put that there then inside I probably sh should show you this inside got like, this little box and I'm assuming this should be the uh, the 3.5 millimeter cable. Uh, if we open this up, I think we can do that. There we go. And yes, so oh, and something else, but I'll take, talk about that now. It's got the two cables here. The first one I'm looking at here is the uh, it shows on the front a headset w uh, wire, and then it just both I think both ends are the same. To be honest, here yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't. I don't think it matters where you plug it in. I'm not going to unravel at all, but it also has uh, inline like uh, audio, like you can change the audio of it inline. So it's got a little uh, spinner here. If we go up closer, as you adjust this uh, up and down, it changes the volume of uh, like what you're listening to. Not not uh, people think it could change how loud you speak to other people, but it's actually the volume of uh, your headset. And then this uh, little switch here, literally up and down. I'm guessing red means you're on mute, and then that is not mute. So mute and not mute button. And then obviously the 3.5 millimeter on both ends. There you go. And plug. I'm gonna plug probably. The, oh, hang on. Uh, this one, this side in to the headset. So I'm gonna do that now. So if we look here, we've got that that plug that in if we get a better grip there we go all in so that's that and also uh, it's I'm not sure the length of this uh, I'm not sure don't know what the length of this cable is but it is uh, pretty long as because it's rolled up right now and it's still uh, reaching out there so I might not even unravel that because my uh, 
control Xbox controller if, I, if it's down here like that then it's uh, enough for my to reach my head so that's all good there place that down there again and then the other cable you're probably wondering what this is on PC some uh, need a USB but uh, some also need the two so an audio and a mic um, one if this focuses what you this is gonna be very hard to see um, right there you go uh, green and a red the red is uh, the microphone and the green is the headset uh, that like the hearing so if you don't want to speak you can just unplug the red but you're always gonna have the at least always gonna have the green one in and then obviously this side is where you plug in so instead of plugging into your controller you plug it plug the end of the headset into that and then two into your PC or one and then you can uh, hear from that and then also in that little box we just unboxed you wouldn't have seen that but also inside had a bag so if you have a look at that it's wrong way has if you can see there just about HyperX little uh, bag that you tighten up so you can put your headset right inside so uh, it doesn't get scratched or whatever if you're traveling I don't travel and take them uh, take my headsets away but you never know you could I might I never know but yeah but that's also nice to have in there just if you want to store it if you maybe if you buy a new headset and you do want to keep the one you've got you can store that because the last one I was I, I was using if I grab it here sorry for looking over this way a lot uh, it's where I can see what I'm doing because I don't want to be showing you something over here and you just can't see that if it's outside that shop there so uh, yeah I just want to make sure you can always see what I'm trying to do the best I can I haven't got the best camera but this is my old one very uncomfy mic wasn't great um, and yeah like I said it was definitely uncomfy apart from that's one thing uh, this can swivel so it sits around my head like that it can swivel it's much more comfy like that and t uh, there's two downsides to the HyperX Cloud Alpha and I'll show you them now for me one of them is a downside for anyone one is that if it's around here it's just got to rest it can't actually swivel so if you try and swivel them you can't go any more than about 20 degrees literally like those go 90 and also in my opinion this is a downside but red is it doesn't go with my uh, setup i've got mainly blue well blue white gray is it sounds weird and black because um, monitors are black as most are but the black if this was replaced with blue or gray that'd be very nice but to be honest when it's on your head i can't see i can't see what uh, these are from this angle can i so it's it's all right for me but for just when i put them up on uh, up on the stand up there I can see it, and it's red. But to be honest, it's not. It's not a big problem. I also want to see how uh, how durable these are. Look, I can stretch them like that. It has a little bend there, but the whatever. I'm not sure what's inside this, but whatever it is, is allowing a lot of stretch. And like literally, I can twist them like that, and it's and it's fine with that. Because uh, I think a lot of it comes down to these aluminium uh, fo uh, foils, aluminium frames there. They just hold it nice uh, together nicely. So, yeah, I think, I think that's really where I'm going to end this. I think I've talked about everything. Like I said, I didn't go through the manual here. But if you need to, if you're, like, stuck with anything, oh, it also shows you. Yeah, it shows you if you spin that up or down, it changes the headset. And that is mute and unmute. So it's in line. So I really like that. Definitely. I won't be doing a mic test because... Uh, I can't really, I don't have the, uh, wow, well, it's sort of like, it's confusing, I can't really do it with mine, but if you need to see a mic test, there will be other YouTube videos on them, and also I won't be doing, like, say I was playing a game and hearing, for you, you can't hear anything, so I think that's a bit of a pointless test, but it's, it's for you, you to judge how good the sounds are, all the reviews I've seen have said this, uh, one of the best sounding headsets for under about £100. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a great headset, and I can't wait to get started. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Peace.